Hey everyone, we're back at it again with another uh, JavaScript algorithm. This time it's on Hacker Rank, which I'm pretty new to, so I'm just doing the uh, some of the intro exercises here. It's pretty cool. It's different than Code Wars. Uh, I know that some companies use it for hiring, kind of that screening stage where you've got uh, technical interviews and stuff like that. And so uh, it's another good site that I think is worth looking into that I'm interested to uh, continue working with. So uh, we've got this algorithm called compare the triplets, uh, which seems like it really should be called compare the twins because we're talking about two people, Alice and Bob, and ranking uh, the problems that they're coming up with for hacker rank. And uh, being a twin, I can definitely uh, relate to that. Seems like you're always comparing twins and there's a certain element of competition. And so uh, this is a fitting problem that we've got here. So basically what it's saying is that uh, Alice comes up with three problems and so this is kind of like a more mathematical way of representing an array. Uh, Bob comes up with three problems. They rate them on a scale of 1 to 100 and he has an array of three. And so if Alice's is, is for number one is better, she gets a point. If Bob's uh, on any given one is a uh, you know, greater, then he gets a point, and if they're equal, then no one gets a point. So we're basically, for each problem, comparing them, and then uh, just determining who gets points. And then at the end, you have to return uh, an array with Alice and then Bob's points. And so it'll be, well, I guess it depends, uh, but typically, unless they're equal, you know, it'd be 2, 1, or 1, 2, uh, if one of them is equal, it would be 1-1 one, one, or 2-0 zero, or 0-2. Zero, and so uh, this is a classic uh, opportunity to use some conditional logic. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and complete this. This is a little bit more beginner-oriented, but hope you find it helpful. So I'm just going to start with score and use some nice ES6 syntax there and just say that everyone starts out at 0, so that'll um, keep us from having to um, deal with the fact that an empty array would not allow us to increment, right? So I'm um, just going to go ahead and write a for loop here. So our uh, counter variable is going to start out at 0, and then uh, I'm going to say as long as it's less than 3, since we're 0 index and we only have 3 problems to be dealing with, and then increment each time we pass through. And so now we're at um, a place where the algorithm can get a little bit messy, right? Because we've got um, three different cases, you know, if Alice's is greater, if Bob's is greater, or if they're equal. I don't tend to like the syntax where it's like if, and, you know, then else, else if, and then else. It's just, you know, a lot of curly brackets, a lot of parentheses. And so uh, we can use something called a ternary. And so... Basically, that syntax looks like statement. Is the statement true or false? So it'll eva evaluate. If true, then do this thing. If false, then this other thing. And so it's much cleaner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write uh, the first scenario, which would be Alice's problem for hacker rank is rated better than Bob's. And so um, that will evaluate to true or false. And so then I'll say, uh, if true, then we want her score in the array to increment, right? So uh, that's that. And then you can chain them. So if not, then we also want to evaluate, is Bob's score rated better than Alice's? And so uh, we're asking that question now, if you think of it that way. So score... If so, then we want his score to increment. And if not, then we just want his to stay the same. Now, something I will point out for those that aren't familiar is that uh, you have to provide kind of this else. Uh, and so even though I want his to stay the same, I still have to um, give uh, uh, code to be executed in that scenario. So... Uh, I don't really like this, but I'm, since I just want his score to stay the same, uh, I'm just going to say uh, 
his score is the same thing as it was. And I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but just doing this kind of on the fly, I'm just going to keep it like that. So go ahead and run. We'll see what happens. And runtime error. So, ah, what didn't we do? So we're incrementing, doing all this stuff to this score array, and we haven't returned it, have we? So we'll go ahead and run that, see if that helps. And we passed. So uh, this is just a quick introduction to Hacker Rank and a quick little algorithm. So hope it inspires you to uh, get on and start trying some of these problems yourself, and hope it was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, I'm planning on doing more uh, complex algorithms. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for uh, more algorithm stuff, more framework stuff, and uh, thank you for watching.